But as I said, we need to be realistic. We don't want to get too excited yet. Um, the ICC has a lot of cases on its desk. Uh, what we need to do um, is we need to maintain the pressure uh, so that they realize uh, that the international community um, is interested in this case uh, and will not uh, allow uh, Cambodians to be sacrificed yet again uh, to, the, to the greed and power uh, of the ruling elite. So there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, so far we've gained considerable support um, uh, for the ICC. Firstly, uh, when we filed it, uh, we had two uh, very powerful human rights organizations uh, fully supporting it. Um, FIDH, which is the biggest French human rights organization, uh, they came with me, the head of that organization came with me uh, when I went to meet uh, the ICC. Uh, and we also had support from Global Witness, who are a, a very well respected uh, organization who have been monitoring Cambodian land grabs for many years. We, we also had support from interstate political organizations, uh, Liberal International, uh, which is a political umbrella group uh, with over a hundred political parties as members, uh, has lent their support. Uh, and the president of Liberal International issued a statement saying, and I quote, uh, this is a case cut out for the ICC. The whole Liberal International Bureau decided to support this quest for truth and justice. We also gained uh, detailed uh, and encouraging coverage uh, from many of the leading newspapers uh, around the world. Uh, you may have seen uh, the coverage uh, in the Financial Times, one of the world's most important newspapers, uh, the Figaro of Paris, El Pais of Spain, uh, Forbes, uh, BBC, and many, many others. And all that's good news uh, for our case. And in November last year, uh, the communication was discussed at a hearing uh, at the European Parliament. Um, it was raised by the Vice Chair of the Human Rights Committee, uh, and the EU's uh, Foreign Service uh, confirmed, uh, and I quote, that it takes it very seriously and will continue uh, to look at it very seriously. Uh, the, the representative of the European Commission stated that land grabbing was, I quote, a very important issue worldwide, and that the ICC communication uh, was a very interesting initiative. So that's a uh, very important uh, political support that we're gaining uh, for, the, for the communication. Uh, and lastly, on 12th of December, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, FIDH, Global Witness and I, uh, sent a joint letter to the ICC prosecutor uh, attaching a statement of support uh, by 40 civil society uh, organizations from around the world. Uh, these 40 NGOs urged the ICC to act on the communication, uh, arguing that, uh, and I quote again, uh, we have a duty to protect the victims of land grabs and associated forced evictions who have no chance of obtaining justice in their own countries. That was from 40 NGOs around the world. So um, we hope that all this uh, political advocacy work uh, will show that the international community uh, will not stand by uh, any longer uh, and let ordinary Cambodians uh, be sacrificed to the interests of power uh, and greed. Um, now, uh, the question, of course, is what else can we do? What else can we do now to help give this the best chance? Well, um, given the resources, uh, we'd file a supplementary brief uh, to the ICC. Um, and there are several reasons uh, why this uh, can be important. And firstly, uh, after I filed the brief, I received lots of emails uh, from people who said, look, I'd like to be a witness. I have evidence. Um, 
what we need to do is we need to collate all that information because they've sent me hundreds, even thousands of pages now. Uh, we need to collate that information and send that uh, to add to the arguments we've already made. Uh, the second reason um, is because we want to supplement uh, with information about what's happened since the filing, since October. Uh, because the land grabbing hasn't stopped, the, the persecution hasn't stopped. Um, in fact, there was a trial yesterday uh, that I think amounts to persecution. Um, so uh, we need to show uh, the ICC prosecutor uh, that these types of crimes are going to continue unabated uh, unless and until uh, the ICC does something about it. Um, and the third reason uh, why we want to file an additional uh, communication uh, is because we want to provide more detail on the potential perpetrators. Uh, given the resources, uh, we can provide more information on the specific police, gendarme and military units uh, that committed the crime uh, and start to look more closely at the hierarchy uh, within uh, those units. Uh, and this will help the ICC to focus uh, on particular individuals um, if, and w if, if and when it's ready uh, for an eventual indictment. Uh, we'd also like to do more political advocacy, basically more lobbying, um, uh, and that uh, is getting more support from civil society, more support from international bodies, uh, more support from national politicians. Um, already, uh, we expect there to be an, a further discussion in the European Parliament on the 22nd of January, that's next week, um, at a procedure called Question Time. Uh, and the European Commission uh, will be obliged to give a formal response uh, to the European Parliament. Given the resources, uh, we'd also like to work with sympathetic MPs in Western European national parliaments. Um, they can ask formal oral questions in Parliament. Uh, those questions have to be answered by the government. We can collect those answers uh, and we can send them to the ICC to show that we are gaining more and more political support uh, for this initiative. And other activities uh, would include uh, raising the issue, of course, with US senators and congressmen. Um, I have several uh, meetings uh, next week in Washington, DC. Um, we would also uh, speak to organizations like the World Bank and the IMF um, uh, and inform them uh, that their policies need to take into account these human rights violations. Uh, we would ask uh, the EU to reconsider some of their economic policies, um, such as the free trade benefits for sugar. Um, and uh, just to conclude, um, uh, we can't guarantee that any of the ruling elite uh, are ever going to be indicted. I cannot stand here and guarantee you that. Um, but with this filing, uh, we've created uh, momentum um, to finally bring some measure of justice uh, to the Cambodian people. Um, And whilst there is no guarantee uh, that uh, indictments will follow, uh, we are moving steadily uh, in that direction and we cannot afford uh, to miss this historic opportunity. So we must give it our best shot. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> tạm bật chiếm bắt đầu trăng chiếm bắt chăng nữa về còn gì mới về nhỉ ban chế chiếm mà còn đây trong sầm khép khay khay đã bây giờ bóng phong khá còn mình bay sập lứ trăng thà chuẩn nói để chống cào để còn trong tam nhà để bóng phong thà biết còn đang từ ICC đi số bóng phong còn miết sầm khâm thà nâng nâng phơ ca cắt tô chôn tại đó để ao mình con tài bọn ta quát bật chết là dương trời ta đặt biệt đi tất cả tổ lạc cao cân cảm ơn đặt chiến chấm nói đây sắp khăn quát bàn lực lãng thứ ta rồi bó 
ครุบครองสับไงบ้านสบายริเรียนขนมกาประพฤติบดละเมิดจิตชาขนมกาจับบังสำลักประชีพรัฐมาสลบครองดังเจนพิลมเลยทานกาปราบปราบปกป้องตลาดการจับสกามจนประชีพทัพไต่จับสกามจนสุดมนุษดักกุกดอยยาอาจุดพอดดูชนะเอาไว้ได้ก่อนเอาปีนี้จังจูนดำเนินตัวบอลปนมีสนะสำคัญนะเอาปีคลำซานนี่เนี่ยได้เป็ดก่อนตัวนักงชิบักได้ก่อนปานลึกหลังให้การได้ลึกหลังนี่คือทำวิมีนจมดักสำคัญสำคัญจิตเชนได้เยอะเหมือนไอ้หนึ่งจับปานปนเต้เอาไว้ได้สำคัญตัวแรกคือทำเยอะแต่ก็เคลียร์จิตจุนรบกวนโดยนักปฏิบัติรัฐก็อัพมีจุดเรื่องไอ้เจ้าบางคนดิสนิจเจียนิจเจียน